XSL stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language and can be used to transform XML documents into different types, similar to how CSS works with HTML. In other words, if you have an XML input and XSL file, you can produce new documents in different formats. In this tutorial, we will walk through transforming XML into HTML using Apache's Exelon Java implementation. Java by nature provides a spec or an interface where vendors and open source projects create implementations to consume. Transforming XML with XSLT is no exception. Popular Java processor implementations, some with a cost while others are open source, include Saxon, Apache Cookie, Cocoon, Context Framework, and Apache Exelon, which we'll be using in our examples. We will create a Maven project with an Eclipse and add the Exelon jar in our palm.xml. Creating a file named books.xml, we will pull sample XML from Microsoft's website. This file will act as a source of data which could be retrieved from a local file store, database, SOAP web service, or REST web service that returns XML. Once we have XML, we need the view or template which the XML will bind to, so let's create books.xsl. This tutorial will focus on converting to HTML, but know you could substitute various output types such as PDF, XML, Microsoft Word document, or just about any output type. We won't dive into detail to explain what each XSLT element is, as it can be found on Mozilla's XSLT element reference site. We did include a reference to Bootstrap for table styling. Next, let's write the Java code that will take the XML and the style sheet to produce the HTML document. The transformer factory is the main class to do the transformation and was created in a way to allow consumers to configure with various providers. Each implementation may differ on which configuration options are allowed, so be aware if you plan on supporting multiple multiple implementation libraries. Stream source is an abstraction class, so the same parsing code can be used from various sources like DOM source, SAC source, STAX source, or JAXB source. We will read in the books.xml and the style sheet file using Java 7 syntax passing them into stream source. The final piece before making the transformation is where the output should go. Initializing a stream result by converting a path to a file, we will output the contents of the transformation to myfile.html. The final step is obtaining a transformer and passing in the data, the template, the location of the output. Let's run this code and view the output in Chrome. Hope you enjoyed today's level up. Have a great day.